Okay. Um, today, I want to talk about um, the background of the Protestant Reformation. As you know, it is undertaken in the design of a common governance school in Berkeley. So, um, today's topic is Erasmus of Rotterdam. Um, he is a quite important scholar and figure. Um, at the end of the 15th century, uh, the church was indeed a profound reformation. There was a decline and corruption of the papacy, and also a very popular practice um, was done in buying and selling ecclesiastical positions. It, it was really serious. And given this, clerical celibacy was broken openly. And there is an educational requirement for the local clergy to improve because they are not capable of dealing with the word of God and the sacrament and pastoral care because they bought and sold ecclesiastical position in quite a um, capitalistic manner. And meanwhile, um, Greek uh, classic and uh, original text was more commonly known. The here, um, a movement was necessary to return to the sources of the Christian faith, particularly the study of scripture. Now, what was the economic condition? Uh, the economic condition of the masses were worsened in the last decades. The peasants in particular were exploited by the landowners. The ancient feudal system has come to an end. And um, commerce and a monetary economy has developed, undercutting the old feudal system in most of Western Europe. Meanwhile, modern nationalism uh, became a significant factor in the dissolution of the medieval synthesis. It undermined the ancient dream or a flock of one shepherd. This is a very Catholic uh, church's ideal, um, was deeply challenged by this economic development. Uh, there was, a, first of all, humanist reform. The printing press, the influx of Byzantine scholars, and the rediscovery of the artistic and literary legacy of antiquity, etc. Those are important factors of ushering a kind of humanist reform. The humanist reformers sought to restore the literary glories of antiquity, hoping the reformation of the church to proceed. So given this, we can say that the prince of Humanist was Erasmus of Rotterdam. His great contribution was published of the Greek New Testament um, in the year of 1516. Um, that translation, Greek translation, has a tremendous impact on Luther's own, you know, uh, exegetical study of the Bible. Erasmus paid attention to classical literature, scripture, and early Christian literature. He was interested in the reformation of the church. In addition, we can uh, mention a historical example of a devotio moderna, modern devotion. In this movement, uh, Christianity must be a decent, moderate, and balanced life through an ascetic discipline. So here uh, we can talk about the brethren of the common life, uh, a part of the Debocio Moderna, or maybe, um, you know, ushering that movement of the Debocio Moderna. Uh, this group um, is very much interested in studying the Bible and meditating in prayer and also manual labor. For Erasmus, complete obedience to the precept of Jesus is more important over doctrine or traditional Christian orthodoxy. 